Hello everyone! This is Pakshita Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet. I would really appreciate your support. Today I'd like to talk to you about the style rules. I want to talk to you about the difference between buying clothes in stores and individual tailoring. When you go to a store, you see a ready-made garment of a certain design. Its length, sleeves and other details are a fact. You can hardly change anything. When you tailor a garment, you are free to create your own design. But it's better to consider all the details in advance. The first thing you should take into consideration is the purpose of the garment you are going to make. This is very important. For example, my black shift dress is very comfortable for work, and I can combine it with different accessories and also wear it for some meetings. I can wear it both to work and to a special occasion. I love it. This is my favorite length of the sleeves, three quarter. The sleeves are slightly tighter at the bottom. If you feel comfortable with flared sleeves, you can make them. Some people also like long sleeves. I can't stand them. Some people like loose dresses, and others prefer close-fitting ones. As for me, I prefer tight three-quarter sleeves. It's all individual. It's very important to consider the purpose of the garment. Think over where and when you are going to wear it. If you make a garment to wear it to work, you'd better make comfortable armholes and loose sleeves. If you sew a dress for some special occasion, it can be not so comfortable, but with some unusual interesting details. I repeat, if you consider the purpose in advance, it will be much easier for you to create a design. Another important detail is the length of the garment. No matter if it's a dress or a coat, it's very important to define the length accurately. The wrong length can totally spoil the look. For example, you're going to sew a coat. First, you need to examine your wardrobe and check the length of the dresses and skirts you will combine this coat with. The best option is when a coat is longer than the garments under it. I don't like it when a skirt is seen from under the well-tailored coat. Think about all the garments you are going to wear with the coat. This is pretty important. So you need to consider not only the purpose of a garment, but also what you are going to wear it with. If you think about everything in advance, you will have much less problems later. I strongly recommend you doing it. What about the jackets? When sewing jackets, it's also very convenient to think about the length in advance. If you have long shirts, they will be seen from under a short jacket. It's always better to make a jacket and a skirt first, and only then sew a shirt. I do not really like it when the clothes are seen from under each other. Layered clothing might be in trend, but it doesn't always look beautiful. Sometimes it does, I agree with it. 
I think that it's awful when a shirt, a classic shirt, is seen from under a classic jacket. This is not the best combination. That's why I wanted to think about the length of the garment carefully in advance. As I've already said, the wrong length can spoil your look. What about the length of the sleeves? They shouldn't be too long. What should you think about when choosing the length of the sleeves? As for me, I, for example, like various wristbands and some breast sets. In this case, it's better to make shorter sleeves. This idea is also true for the necklines. Consider the purpose of the clothes and their combination not only with other clothes, but also with accessories. One more thing I'd like to discuss is decoration and design. Some people think that the more complicated the design is, the nicer is the garment. It's not true. Casual clothes should be simple. Have a look at my favorite dress. There are two chest darts here and three quarter sleeves. That's it. I love the dress. I can combine it with cardigans or silk shawls or scarves. I can combine it with different accessories. It's very convenient. You know that I love wearing accessories, necklaces, wristbands. If I made it with a bottom placket and a collar, I would have not been able to combine it with accessories. This is why I say that it's very important to think about the accessories in advance. I'd like to add that making a lot of details in one garment is also terrible. Please never make princess seams, frills, pockets and various bands in one garment. Of course, there is complicated designer clothing. It can be an unusual design with lots of details. Such exclusive clothes should correspond to your image. I think that wearing them is a special talent. It's always better to have a choice between casual clothes and clothes for special occasions. You should also be able to combine your clothes easily. It's hard to combine skirts and blouses of complicated design. It's better to sew neat and simple garments. If you make basic clothes, you can combine them with different and usual garments. Do not overload your look. Never combine several and usual garments in one outfit. I want us to be different and beautiful every day, not different and strange. Anyway, I don't want you to be boring. Just be careful. As soon as you decide to sew something new, take a sheet of paper, think about the purpose of a garment, about the combination with different clothes, about the length, details you want to make in it, accessories you are going to wear it with, and shoes. This is also pretty important. When you think about all of that, draw a sketch. Take your time, do not hurry. I hate it when people sew clothes and don't wear them. It's a waste of time, a waste of money, and a waste of fabric. I really hope that at least some of these tips are helpful for you and you will take them into consideration. I want us to be different and beautiful every day. That's all for today. My name is Pauk Štirina. 
buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.